everybody. Welcome back to the OC Homestead. I'm Donald and uh, this is my son. Jonah. Jonah. And uh, we just got out and about. We just de or we ferminated, we ferminated Thunder. He, uh, he needed to be ferminated really bad. He's been leaving uh, lots of fur all over the carpet in the house. And that vacuum is working overtime. So we just ferminated him. But uh, we, uh, we put, here, here's a picture of how much fur we took off of him. About a, as much as a small mammal, huh? <laughs> right? About it. About it. Anyhow, I'm going to hand this out to Jonah and we're going to show you what we've done on the homestead for the past couple of weeks. We added on, we added on to the uh, chicken coop, as you can see. Having 23 hens and two roosters, well, they were getting kind of cramped in this one little spot right here. So we added this on right here. We basically took the door off of one side and put it on this side. As you can see, we got some ladies in here. Added some more roosting space for them. That they, it was much needed roosting space that they needed. And uh, we still got some painting to do. But, uh, oh, oh my gosh, look at this. It's our first egg. So don't don't be hating it. Oh, we have one hand that may be trying to eat. Eat them. But we have our first egg. This is a Rhode Island red egg. Now, uh, it is smaller. This is the, this is literally our first egg. We just came out here and found this. Uh, but look at all the little spots on it. That's really neat. Uh, these, every one, every one of these spots is unique to the egg, you know. Uh, but wow, this is, this is a smaller egg, but it's our first egg. Yeah. <laughs> There's some hens in here. We're invading their space, so we let's leave them alone. Maybe we'll get some more eggs today, right? Okay, we're over here at the pig pen now. But uh, we got a problem. No, it's not it's not that. Well Miss Piggy move. Okay, so see the nipple there? Move your butt. Come on, move your butt. Okay, see the nipple there? It's dripping. And it's dripping a lot. It's dripping out all the way around there. So we're gonna fix that today. And I'll show you what we're getting ready to do to it. But first we gotta get Miss Piggy out of the way. Alright, so these pig nipplers, nip, water, water nipples, the ones at Tractor Supply are really designed for uh, um, pressurized flow. What the heck was that? I was trying to put dirt in it the way. They're designed for pressurized flow. Uh, they have like a little um, plate back here, a restrictor plate that lowers the pressure. Since we were doing gravity feed, we had to modify this. So I drilled a hole basically right here in the end of this. I removed the little restrictor plate and drilled a hole in there to make the uh, opening a little bit bigger. This thing is spring loaded, uh, so you got to be mindful of that. Um, but you can make the ones from Tractor Supply work on a gravity feed system. Uh, you don't have to go online and find the uh, uh, ones that are designed for gravity feed. All you got to do is modify the ones that are designed for pressure feed to make these things work for the gravity feed. So we're adding a bulkhead connector to this. Here's what you gotta do. You gotta go in to this barrel. It's the middle. 
Yeah. 